I don't know. I don't know how I want to word it. Um, it's really hard to say something smart about something that's so like purely sensual. Um, that was the most insane thing I've ever been a part of. At first, it was extremely uncomfortable. I really wanted out. The anxiety was almost scary. He opens the first door and it's just like, boom. Look, once your visibility starts going, you're kind of like, okay, whoa, what's, what's happening? You don't even know where you are. You lose your sense of space, time, and motion. I mean, I didn't even know I was in there for 20 minutes. I would have guessed like two minutes. It did feel a little bit like death. You know, like, if you don't have a body, is this what your existence is like? If you went to heaven, like, it felt like you would be like entering heaven. I've never. I never felt like that, ever. Forms are appearing in front of you. Fractals and, and B-waves that just moved around in a clockwise direction, in a counterclockwise direction. Different patterns emerging that cross-fade into each other, that spread out. And the shapes were so beautiful, so beautiful. And the colors were... Colors melting into each other, patterns just swirling around each other. Things flying through the air. And... Faces and like pieces of wood and stuff that like I knew wasn't there. <laughs> Electric crackling around me like lightning, sort of, but on a tiny scale. You don't know if you're focusing on something 10 feet away or if it's right here. I was always staring in front for some reason, and then at some point I turned around and it was the same thing. You're sort of like, oh, I'm on another planet. I wasn't sure if things were happening inside my head or. Or is it in front of me? Is it I, my eyes that's doing this? But at some point you just stop and take it in what you're. Yeah. Why it's happening because you cannot really rationalize, you cannot put a narrative, you cannot do it, you just have to take what, whatever you're saying. And it's not just uh, kind of a loss of consciousness, a loss of boundary, but it's also uh, very consciously produced, right? So it's aesthetic, so it's paying attention to different patterns. So it was, it was really exciting. I'd want to do it again. I'd like to do it again. Do it again. I'd want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would definitely do it again. <laughs>